Hello everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to Laura's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. Um, we are on week 752 and, um, and here I am. So I hope to um, offer um, some inspiration for crafting and using the products that you have in your craft room, craft space, craft area with your stuff. Um, and, and, and have some chats with you guys to make you not feel alone or so isolated and everything. So I have like a few little like snippets from a lot of things that I want to chat with you guys about today. So yesterday was my official anniversary date. So yesterday marked 16 years uh, since I signed up for um, having the greatest time ever with Stampin' Up. Uh, I'm so, so happy, so blessed, so thankful for making that decision because uh, even after 16 years, I am still loving it and um, can't believe how how much it's changed me. Um, if you'd like to read more on that, because I'm not going to get emotional or anything on here, um, so uh, you can read a little bit more about what I had to say about my reflection of 16 years on today's blog post. So that's at laurasstamppad.com. Also, I am offering double Laura's Loyal Stamper points this entire week, so until Friday at noon. Um, so probably like Friday when I'm doing my um, daily dose of stamping therapy. So all week I am offering... Um, double Laura's Loyal Stamper Points. So those are earned for every $40 that you spend. So if you place an order for $40, you get one point. If you place an order for $80, you get two points, and so on and so forth. Um, and I do all the calculations for you on earning points. So at the end of every month, I just pull a report with um, your sales and then divide that number by 40 and give you your points. So if at any point you ever are wondering how many points you have, then feel free to reach out. I can just pull up my spreadsheet and let you know. And if you get one of those fabulous gift certificates in your order or in your um, thank you note at the end of the month or anything like that, uh, then I hope you enjoy that as a nice little surprise. So after earning 10 points, you get a $40 gift certificate from me. And with double points this week, then you can really earn that $40 gift certificate really fast. So I'm excited. I love um, writing out those gift certificates at the end of every month. It seems like there's more and more and more. Um, so that's always exciting because that's my way to give back to you guys. So to celebrate 16 years of being with all of you guys, um, I'm offering double points. But there's a lot of other cool things that are going to go on this week, um, including some specials and um, offerings that I have. So today on laurastamppad.com, I kind of have a little um, reflection and slightly emotional I got while typing it, um, talking about all of that. So I'm not going to do that here. Um, but yeah, so I'm, and then tomorrow I'll actually be posting my top 16 favorite products. And, uh, I'll be honest, like this totally snuck up on me. Like April 1st came and I was like, my anniversary month, woohoo! I need to like, you know, plan all this stuff. And then like Saturday I was like, oh, that's tomorrow. Oops. <laughs> so you just never know um, how fast time is apparently going whenever I thought it was going slow. But a follow-up from last week, uh, because you guys are all holding me accountable. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Don't forget to give me a shout-out, especially if I'm going to be talking a lot and all over the place today. So give me a shout-out. Let me know um, that you're on so I can say hello and let me know where you're from. Um, so um, a follow-up from last week. I got my 20 cards done. So there's actually 20 exactly um, of cards that I'm sending to people uh, this week. I'm hoping to do 20 cards every week because I feel like um, happy meal, happy mail is fabulous. So like just a few examples of people that you can send it to. Um, I'm not actually going to share with you the names, but I'll kind of share a little bit of like 
who I'm sending it to and like why. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. So like this card is my cousin who technically graduated from, I think he's a doctor now. So whatever school that is. But anyway, super amazing. Um, so yeah, he graduated. Card for him. This is a friend of mine on Facebook who is um, a pharmacist. So she's obviously still working. And um, and it was her anniversary last week. So I, I have her address. She gets a card. Hi, Liz. Um, this one is a birthday card. This one is my niece who is a senior and not going back to school. This is just an aunt of mine. This is also an aunt of mine. This is a great aunt of mine um, who, um, those two actually both uh, live alone and so does this one. This is my great aunt, she lives alone. This is a cousin of mine who actually um, lives in a facility and uh, they had coronavirus spread throughout and um, he is recovering. Tomorrow, I think, is his like last day of the 14 days, and all he's had is a um, a very random like roller coaster ride of um of a low grade fever. So he's doing very well, but of course, being in quarantine all alone um, is very hard. And so I've been sending him cards. I actually have um three more cards. So technically, 23 cards will be going out this week um, because I'll send them like every few days. This one is a great uncle of mine and a great aunt. So like all of like my older relatives, um, a lot of them live alone or I just haven't spoken to them or seen them in a long time. So I'm sending them happy mail because again, we just wanna make sure people are, aren't feeling lonely. Uh, this one is my aunt and uncle who are um, the parents to the child who is or who has coronavirus. So this is another relative of mine who just bought a house. This one is another relative of mine who is um, going through um, some tough times. And another birthday card. Then this is another card for a friend of mine who uh, is stuck at home with her toddler too. This is a birthday card. This is a card for someone who um, lost a loved one um, a month or two ago. I don't remember. It's been like a million weeks, I feel like. Uh, and so I'm just following up. One of the things that I will say, I don't know, this is just me, um, but I like to send like thinking of you cards months after um, they lost a loved one. Just because like, I feel like, and it, maybe this is because I've gone through this, uh, losing my grandparents, but you get so much attention right around when it happens and it's just it's it's overwhelming and it's wonderful but it also keeps you like pressing forward but it's like the weeks and the months later that your mind wanders and it becomes kind of hard um I know whenever I miscarried a baby then during that time it felt like it was like all that was the focus and I was just like a hot mess right then but it was the months that followed that I like overthought things and got very upset and, you know, and things like that. So that's whenever I always like to send additional cards um, just to say, like, I'm thinking of you and, you know, you got this, you'll, we'll get through this together, you know, that sort of thing. Um, because I think that that's like that, that's really important too. But maybe that's just me. And then I have um, a couple of my stamper friends who are super fabulous, uh, who I'm sending cards to. Some of you guys might be watching these. So um, I wanna almost get like all of your guys' addresses because I just wanna send thank yous to you guys for being so fabulous on my lives um, every day or every other day or watching the replay and things like that. So um, I picked three of you who I do have your address. Um, and so you guys will be getting cards. So if you think I don't have your address, send me your address and I'll send you some cards because I've got my list already ready to prepare for next week's cards. So I want to make sure I have the cards and I have my list because then it's easier to do. That's kind of how I did it um, this week. So if you would like a card from me, then message me your address and I'd love to send you a card. 
Okay, so here, after all of the cards that we made last week, and after the 23 that I sent out, I still have some left. So in case you missed those fabulous cards that we made last week, I'll kind of um, show these to you here. Uh, I use the, it's not called Cows It Going, um, but it's super cute. See, Cows It Going. I love it! Um, but this is the Over the Moon stamp set with these cute cows. And so I used that on a lot of the cards. Um, I also used the, um, which one is this? Colorful Seasons and did that card. And Artfully Aware, I used a lot of the greetings from Artfully Aware. Hi, Marie, welcome. And of course I showed this to my husband and his first thought was, Cows don't sit like that. You don't say. <laughs> Here, this is a brown one. I know some of you guys had mentioned doing brown, um, brown cows instead of black ones because he's got a missing eye, it looks like, because there's, a, like, it's he's a black cow. And so it goes over the eye. So he looks like he's only got one eye. Um, so I did a brown one, and then I realized that this is a different cow, and it doesn't even have an eye patch. So that didn't even matter. So here's another one and a few more. I also like my desk was getting way out of hand. So um, hi, Casey. Glad you made it to Sam's. Hopefully you got everything. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I had to clean up my mess. So I was so impressed with how much product I used last week with all of these quick and simple cards that I made because I actually still have card bases. Remember, I think I cut 40 if I counted correctly while I was cutting and chatting with you guys. So I still have these left. Some of these, oh wait, nope, that's just some white layers. Um, so I still have all of these left to continue to make and my pack of designer paper is running low. So I'll definitely use all of these because they're already cut. They're the leftovers from this piece. So it's a six by six piece. Actually, no, it goes like this. Sorry, it goes like this. And then this little inside strip is on the inside there. So now I can use this and get like every inch of that designer paper um, all cut and ready to go. Um, so I have this much of the designer paper left. And then I still have, for some reason, I have a million yellow and blues of these, or I mean yellows and greens, um, of those still left to use. And three little ones. And then I didn't use ribbon as much as I thought I would, so I still have the ribbon to use up. These are all of the in colors that will be retiring at the end of May, but the in color stuff usually goes pretty quick. So that's why I wanna let you guys know about that because actually Wednesday is when the new catalog comes out for demonstrators. So that means the retiring list is coming out and um, the stuff usually goes really fast once the retiring list comes out. So I'm wanting to let you guys know now to hurry up and order some of the things that I know are retiring, like the in colors. Um, this is, um, let's see, the in colors that are retiring are Blueberry Bushel, Grapefruit Grove, Lovely Lipstick, Call Me Clover, and Pineapple Punch. So these are the five in colors that will be retiring for sure. So if you want anything with those, you definitely want to get it now. Um, especially re-inkers as those typically go fast. I think the blends um, will also probably go fast because people love those colors and want to get more of them um, to have on stock. Uh, my favorite in color that's leaving is Lovely Lipstick. So let me know which one your favorite in color is uh, that will be uh, retiring. Is it Lovely Lipstick? Call Me Clover. Pineapple Punch. Grapefruit Grove or Blueberry Bushel. You can even just say the green one, the pink one, the yellow one, orange, red. 
uh, or not red, but blue. Um, so you guys can just let me know there if you don't remember the actual names. But let me know what your favorite in color is that will be retiring. Um, okay, let's see. We talked about my 20 cards that I got mailed out or are going in the mail, which is why I hurried up and wanted to get on now because usually he comes like around 1. So I have to get off at 1 to be able to go put Claire down for a nap. So those can go in the mail. Hopefully I beat the um, the postman, mail man, that guy. I think it's a guy. For the most part, it's a guy, but sometimes we have different people, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm excited that I got those done. I'm excited that I still have cards left for next week, this week, next, however you want to see that, um, to be able to mail out. But I also have like loads of other ones too. And then now we're going to do a little bit of stamping because I found a little card um, to, um, to be able to do with you guys. So this one I'm super excited about um, uses the Mountain Air. And so we're going a little masculine. And I struggle with masculine cards. But I think I'm going to force myself to do some masculine cards um, for a uh, virtual stamp class for um, Father's Day. So I did a Mother's Day one, which is already live. You can go check that out on um, laurastamppad.com virtual classes uh, and see the, there's three classes now that I've posted um, using various products. So you can always use the same products that I use um, but you can also mix and match and do your own thing too. Kind of like the cards that I'm doing here where like I'm making the cards and then you know you can always like substitute with something else um, or you can always purchase, purchase the same products that I use. But yeah, there's a Mother's Day class, which is fabulous. I love it. That one is super, super cute and I'm so excited um, to have those samples. Uh, that I can then use for Mother's Day, but also, so I made sure that a couple of mine were Mother's Day, but then like the rest were kind of like generic, like women's cards, if you want to say that. Um, Cause like one of them I did talked about like, you know, so proud of you and you're a super strong woman. Um, and so I think that's a great card that I was going to give my niece who will be going to college this fall. So, you know, like there's a lot of great, great ideas um, with those. So, um, yeah, I I don't have all because I definitely didn't need. There's actually a bonus card in that class. So there's six cards instead of the normal five, um, which makes it even more fun. Um, and, and so I would have 12 samples, and I don't need 12 Mother's Day cards. Although, I do like, we're just going to toss that aside. Um, I do like to um, send Mother's Day cards to a lot of people because I remember when, oh please, I remember when um, my dad's mother was still alive, my grandma, and I gave her a Mother's Day card and he said, what are you giving her a Mother's Day card for? She's not your mom, but she's still an amazing woman who I absolutely love, and because she is a fabulous mother, I'm here. <laughs> so she had my dad, who then had me. Like, so yeah, I just, I like to send Mother's Day cards. Um, even the people who maybe have not had a child of their own, um, but there's so many, there's so many amazing women out there who long to have a baby, who hope to have a baby in the future, who maybe don't ever want to have a baby, but like love their nieces and nephews or some, you know, neighbor kid or something like that. So there's so many amazing women who are so motherly. Um, maybe they're a, a mother to their uh, pet, whether it be a dog, a cat, or a chinchilla. Um, but there's so many reasons um, to celebrate women and to celebrate uh, motherhood. So I really like to, to send out a lot of Mother's Day cards and to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. And yeah, I think we're good. Got a little nervous that it might not actually stamp in the middle, um, but we're good. There's our mountains. You're having a Mother's Day birthday this year? Oh, that's so wonderful. 
I remember we were hoping that Claire would come on Mother's Day, only because I wanted her to come five days early. Uh, and she decided to come seven days late instead. Um, eight days late. No, ten days. I can't do math today. <laughs> I had her at 41.3, so that would have been seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yeah, ten days late. Boy, good thing I don't have to homeschool Claire because it would not be good. <laughs> Casey, if you're still on, um, I apologize for my horrible math skills. <laughs> and no, I won't teach Claire math. Um, so yeah, uh, I was hoping she would come on Mother's Day though. Oh, this is so not the one. I just inked up the mountains again in green. I cleaned it off because I was going to take it off and put on um, these trees. And instead, I just inked it up again. So this is what happens when you're not paying attention or when you're trying to do math while stamping. I never recommend doing math while stamping. Although technically we still kind of do math while stamping um, when we're doing like measurements and things, which is why I don't like to do eighth of an inch because that's too hard. Okay, green. Trees. So, of course, the question of the day is always, what's everyone having for supper? So, what's everyone having for supper tonight? Okay, now let's start adhering all of this together. So, our mountains are actually going to go behind our trees. Like that. Gorgeous. Looks like Colorado, doesn't it? Love it. Okay, oh, and then we have another little tree. Tonight we are having leftovers, actually. So, woo woo for not having to cook again, or not having to fully cook, or think. Um, but we got the... family feast or whatever you call it from um, Texas Roadhouse last night and it was yum yum yummy and they give you so much food it's it's an amazing deal if you have a Texas Roadhouse near you I highly recommend it <laughs> that's a good one Liz that's a good one um, but yeah if you have a Texas Roadhouse next to you or nearby, I highly recommend getting their family feast. Um, so I recommended it to a friend of mine, and then she said that there was like 70 cars in front of her when she went to go pick it up, and so they decided that they weren't gonna wait for it. Um, so I will say we've never really had to wait that long, but we also eat kind of early, so like we scheduled it for 4.45, because then like by the time Brad got back home and we sat down to eat, it was like 5, 5.15. 5, 5.15, maybe 5.30. Um, so yeah, we do eat early. I get that. Um, but also we didn't have to worry about any sort of crowds. And uh, he heard um, Brad when he went to pick it up yesterday that uh, Saturdays are crazy. So don't go on a Saturday either. But it's like $20, $25 and it feeds a lot. Okay, so I am going to, this is longer than, than mine. So, like, there's two different ways that I could do it. I could, like, cut at, like, a good spot. Ooh, you know what? I'm so going to do that because I'm going to use it for the inside. But what I was going to say is you could always cut it in half and then make two cards out of it. Um, but I'm not going to cut it in half and make two cards out of it. I am going to cut off a smidge and put it on the inside as a little decoration piece. So, where would I like to cut it off at? Okay, so I cut off that piece. It does have adhesive on the back, so I'm just going to place it like that. I wanna make sure that it like 
hides underneath and it's not, you know, like this. So I don't want it to look like this where it's very obvious that I cut it off. I just want to hide that like behind a tree. So let's see how much tree we need. And I'm going to cut this like right there. Okay. But this one I want to put on with Stampin' Dimensionals. Because I want it to have that little bit of oomph. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. So if you are just getting on, um, give me a shout out so I can say hello. And um, let's see what you've missed so far is I did get my 20 cards done and they're going to go in the mail today, which is why I got on early today because I wanted to show you guys and prove that I did do those 20 cards um, and that they are going in the mail today and, um, and that I still have leftover cards um, from last week that I did. So yeah, totally made a ton of cards. And, um, and my 16 year anniversary with Stampin' Up! was yesterday. So I'm celebrating all week. Probably should have left a little bit more of the greenery on now that I'm placing it down. But we're just going to put this on the edge. Maybe I need to go a little lower too. And I'm going to use this tree to cover it up. So this tree is going to go off to the side, but I don't want it like double, double dimensionalized. So I'm actually only going to add dimensionals over here and then just lay it flat on top of the already green piece here. So I'm going to add a few dimensionals to the baby tree. So I have double Laura's Loyal Stamper Points this week um, for any orders placed. I do have a hostess code um, on my blog today, so you can check that out. Um, but if you don't use the hostess code, um, that's okay. You'll still get the points because I'll just pull a report for all orders um, placed this week until Friday at noon. So technically, I guess it's not all week. I said Friday at noon, but... I'll probably be on here at Friday at noon, so, or soon after. I'm kind of back and forth. I like doing them um, before I put Claire down for a nap, um, because then I have time after she's down to be able to um, do projects and things like that, um, but I don't always get it done that early. So, now I want to take a piece of... Whisper White, and I'm going to take those mountains that I have. Maybe I'll take some of these trees, too. And just put it down here on the edge. Oh, that's super, super cute. And since I had to cut this off anyway, then it's like repurposing it instead of throwing it away. Super cute. And so now I'm just going to use the back side as my guide for trimming it off. And this is going to make the perfect masculine birthday card. It's got that like nature look. I love it. You guys also need to let me know what you would like me to do the next virtual class in. Um, is it a specific stamp set? Is it a specific technique? Um, let me know because I'd like to have some ideas. Um, of what you guys want to see. So here's our card. And then I have um, this fabulous little leaf embellishment. 
And I actually think I'm gonna put the leaf embellishment like down on the flat part so that the um, the raised part helps like hide and smooth that out for whenever it goes in the mail. Or I could always hand deliver this card. And then the greeting um, I originally had on this circle, but I'm gonna pick a happy birthday greeting that's a little bit bigger and um, and it's gonna go down here. So I'm gonna put this like at the end of the greeting, possibly down here. And it's going to go there, but I need to get a different greeting piece instead of that one. So there is our fabulous masculine card using the Mountain Air stamp set, which is this one. And this is one of those super cool, like double sided um, stamp sets where you can reverse them. So like this side has that like fun and cool texture. But you can also stamp it on the other side for a nice, like, smooth, um, like, tree line where it's more solid. And then, again, you could do that with this one. You can also do it where, like, you stamp it down and, um, and get, like, that solid look of, like, solid trees in the background to fill out your forest with then the more textured ones up front to give that, like, texture and um, and dimension to your card where it looks like it's varying shades and like a true forest instead of just trees in a line, that sort of thing. So that is the card for today. And I feel like I talked my head off the whole time. So I know we're a little early before nap time, but I still need to pick out my 16 favorite items. Um, for a video that is posting tomorrow uh, for my 16th anniversary. So um, the other thing is, if you want to leave a comment down below of what you think some of my favorite items are, um, then do that. And if they truly are some of my favorite items in the video, um, then I'll send you something fabulous. So let me know in the comments below what you think my favorite 16 items are or any of the 16 items. And, um, and we'll see if you're right or not. So I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Soak up the sunshine because I think it's supposed to rain later in the week. Um, and I hope it kind of rains a little bit because we planted some grass seed. And I don't want to have to water it all week. But I probably still should. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy stamping. Love, hugs, and prayers. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.